So it's here, it's now, it's game time. Yes. Lost to a team that had bobbed the builder up front. You be the judge of this. That's good. I think you it. It's here. It's now. It's game day. We're away for this one. We're off to Hayes Lane. It's Bromley v Barnet in the Vanarama National League. Bruh. So who remembers when I was facing a lawsuit over a common saying on a podcast? And what about the time when I was threatened by our own manager's brother calling me a fat cunt and he will see me tomorrow because I'm on his list? Ooh, you're hard. And somehow, I was gonna get banned over that! That got swept under the carpet, didn't it? Well, imagine my shot. And there, this. I get called a fat cunt by a Barnet player, but somehow, I'm to blame yet again! And I could be getting banned. You can't make this shit up, I promise ya! <laughs> this is great banter. It really is. What makes it even funnier is, I agreed with the statement. You can't argue with facts. I don't know who wrote this or who proofread it, but it's flies, F-L-I-E-S. Not flies, F-L-Y apostrophe S. Dumbass. I'd love to know what investigation it was because no one's contacted me to get my side. But yes, of course, I am to blame. Because don't forget, it's all my fault. It has been since the 1st of December, 2016. But anyway, that's another chat in bollocks. Let's get to football. No! So Bromley currently sit fourth after 31 games, winning 14, drawing 8, losing 9, scoring 52, conceding 41, giving them a goal difference of plus 11, and are currently on 50 points. And the last five games have been two wins and three losses. <laughs> Neil Smith is still in charge and he's now taken 214 games, winning 76, drawing 47 and losing 91, giving a win percentage of 35,514. Not sure that's right, but there. Yeah. <laughs> Number nine, Michael Cheek, who has 12 goals in 32 games. I don't care about your mess. I don't give a fuck. Oh shit, here we go again. Fall for the ninth, 2018. Bromley nil, Barnet one. Dan Sweeney with the only goal of the game on the 21st minute. So, let's get to the grand. Let's get some team news in. Let's get three points. And then let's get the fuck out of town. Fuck you, Bromley. I bet you don't have to call your games off like we do due to an unplayable pitch, you selfish bunch of wankers. Come on, Barnet! Starting lineup for Barnet today in a 3 5 2. Loach in goal. Your three centre arse of Dan Sweeney, Elliot Johnson, and Callum Reynolds. Shad Alexander's right full back. David Tondra's left full back. Two centre mids, Captain James Dunn, my best mate. Oh, friend! And Charlie Adams. Wesley Fongook in the number 10 role. And up front, Simeon Akinola and Josh Walker. And this is our Bromley lineup today in a 4 2 3 1. Quarter of hour in, nil nil. Bromley have been the better team going forward in the opening 15 minutes. A couple of quick chances after about eight minutes. Quick counter-attack by them. When we get the ball, we're slowing it down. Loach has been called on twice. 20 in, still nil-nil. Our first effort on goal. Reynolds plays a ball into the middle. Josh Walker plays into Shay Alexander, who gets the ball, cuts in on his left foot, keep it down to his left. Good save, went for a corner, but then nothing came of that. Come on, Josh! Yeah! Come on! 
26 minutes in, Bromley nil, Barnet one. Josh Walker has put us one nil up. Charlie Adams plays a ball through to Josh Walker. Nice through ball. He's driving into the box. He gets a bit fortunate. He cuts in on his left. Bottom left hand corner. Keeper, no chance. Tutonda. It was Tutonda. <laughs> I knew it. I fucking knew it. <laughs> About five to the half, we're still currently leading 1 0. Last 10 minutes, Bromley have controlled the play. Very good football inside. Panicking at the back at parts, struggling to clear our lines, but we've dealt with everything so far. Uh. 43 minutes in, Bromley 1, Barnet 1. You've got to take your hat off. This was a great strike, quality end product. The last 10 minutes, it's been coming. Bromley have played some really good attacking football. The ball's crossed in from our left hand side. Rees, he's caught it perfect, and it's gone through a cut of bollies. Loach can't see nothing. Bottom left hand corner, and it's 1 1. time here at Hayes Lane, it's Bromley 1, it's Barnet 1. Not been a bad 45 minutes, Bromley are a good size, they play some nice football, they're putting balls into dangerous areas and sometimes we're struggling and it looks shaky at the back, holding on to the ball too long, not clearing our lines quick enough. As the game's gone on we've grown in it, passing, quick transition from us has been quite nice. Just look a little bit nervous at times when the ball's come in, it's like we don't know where to stand, we don't know where to mark, we don't know who to mark. The amount of space we're giving Colton every time, he's the one all the time running through the middle. And no one's picking him up. The game can swing either way. We're not out of this at all. We've put some nice balls into the box, but probably got two big lumps that are just clearing it every time. Two sides that both want to play football, trying to win the game, playing it on the deck, but there's no need for us to be sitting so deep and Colson is cutting us open every single time. Every time we sit deep, we invite pressure and it's panic stages and they're going to score. I just hope I don't need a piss or a shit because they've got no running water here. Second half, come on, Barnett. Fifty-four minutes in, Bromley one, Barnet two. Akinola has just put us back in the lead. Sweeney whips the ball in from the right-hand side. Akinola's one and one. He brings the ball down well and slots it into the back of the net. Sixty-seven minutes in, we're still two one up. Bromley should have punished us and equalised there. Ball whips into the box. Rees is unmarked. He's hit it first time. It just creeps past the post. We're standing here thinking it's going to roll in. Got away with that one. We've had a couple of them today. Less than ten minutes of normal time remaining. We still lead two one. The last Last 10 minutes, Bromley have been piling on the pressure, pumping balls into our box. We've been dealing with it. Problem is, if we defend too deep, they're going to get that equaliser. Into the 90th, we're still 2 1 in front, three minutes remaining. So the game finished Bromley 1, Barnet 2. Oh no, Barnet 1, so you must be so unhappy that you can't scream your nut off and criticise everyone. Ugh. Well, it is all my fault. One team in the playoffs, one chasing playoffs, both teams looking to play football. We dealt with everything that Bromley threw at us. Going forward, they looked a bit more dangerous, but we took our chances, and that's all that matters. Sitting off at times, defending a little bit too deep, nervy at times, sometimes weren't sure who's marking who or where to go, but we grinded it out, and it's a very good performance by us. Backline dealt with everything that needed to be done with. Loach, quality game. There was fight about us, belief, confidence, going forwards. As a football fan, you've got to roll your hands up and say, we counted ourselves lucky at times where Bromley could have equalised or even taken the lead. Bromley are a good side, they play nice football and they're organised. Seeing Colson play like that just makes me think we could have had a player on our hands. We didn't use him in the right way. And there was times where we were just standing off him and letting him drive at us. So after our mini winter break, we're back to winning ways. So next up is the replay if it goes ahead on the Tuesday night against Farsi Celtic. But our next league game, home to Hartlepool on Saturday. You know what to do. This could be my last ever vlog if I'm now banned from the hive. I'm going to be getting sent to Belmarsh. Take care. See you later. You don't have the guts to be what you want to be. You need people like me. You need people like me so you can point your fucking fingers and say, that's the bad guy. I always tell the truth. So say good night to the bad guy. The last time you're going to see a bad guy like this again, let me tell you. There's a bad guy coming through.